So as many of you know, we are having our Vacation Bible School going on this week at St. Patrick. And it's been a really refreshing thing for everyone involved, I think, especially because having all these kids together, it's just really energizing for us. You know, um, the kids are excited. They, they're singing, they're learning, they're playing. And it's just a little bit of a change of pace for us. I find that almost every time I'm around children, I get a little more energized by something. It's something new and different for me in my life. And I think that there's something to that, something about uh, children that helps us to feel a little more energized, a little bit more like ourselves even. Jesus tells his disciples today, or he, he rejoices in the Holy Spirit, saying to the Father, he says, Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. What does it mean to be childlike? I think that there's a lot of different things, and there's a difference between being childlike and being childish. Childish would be like throwing a tantrum when you don't get what you want. But being childlike is about being curious, about trusting when God says something, that he's going to do it, that we can trust him. His disciples have been childlike at this moment in the gospel because they have returned from going to the towns and villages and, and saying that the Lord has been faithful in everything that he said he would do. He's, they've healed the sick, they've driven out demons, they've done a lot of different things. And so this is them being childlike. And so because of that, Jesus is, is excited. He's rejoicing in the Holy Spirit. So perhaps that's a good call for us today to be more childlike be more trusting in the Lord. And in that way, we come to know him better. We come to see the fruits of the Holy Spirit that come from trusting in Jesus by having a childlike trust in him and in his grace and in his love.